What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode. Now, obviously today's episode is a little bit interesting because if you have missed the previous one, it's been a couple of days since then, so I'll quickly run you up to speed. Unfortunately, we finished one point off of the playoffs with this Derby County side. We were literally a point away from sneaking into sixth place and taking part in the playoffs for promotion to the Premier League. Now, because of that, I left that episode not really sure what we were going to do in regards of the future. Should we leave Derby and join someone else? Should we stay, try and help them get promoted again? But you've got to remember, it's a long 46-game season here. Now, I was looking through the comments on the last episode, trying to see what you guys were sort of thinking. Um, there was comments such as, leave to join one of the newly promoted sides, but of course that requires them actually making a move for us, so that could be something that happens. There was a comment saying we should move and go to a different country entirely, maybe join the likes of uh, the Bundesliga or the Serie A. Um, and there was also comments as well asking us to go out on loan to somewhere as well, just to like, you know, get a, a taste of some other football, if you will, before we make our decision. Now, the problem is, I don't know exactly how it's all going to pan out. I don't know who's going to want us. I don't know anything like that. So what I've gone ahead and done is I have gone ahead and I have actually um, requested a transfer. And for some reason, it's saying we've been approached by Wolves here. But there is no message within my message board. So I don't know why it's saying that we're approached by Wolves, but we are transfer listed. Um, so... We have done that just to see what kind of, you know, deals or what kind of teams are going to be looking at coming in for us. Potentially, it might be a case that we stay with this Derby side. I am yet to uh, to decide on that. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But I think for this first game of this new season, of season two, we should just focus on our football. I'm actually going to check this here because if Wolves are interested, are they Premier League still or have they come down? Oh, well, OK, they've come down to the championship anyway, so I'm not sure about that one. Um, there's still been no, like... I guess, messaging. So I haven't had a message to say that uh, Wolves have put an offer in, but apparently have been approached by them, according to the game. Still, this is what the board want from us this season. This is what Frank wants. This is what the um, the team in general wants. They want us to set up a minimum of seven goals and score 20 in the championship, which isn't difficult. I feel we'll be able to do that. We did score, was it 16, 15, somewhere along those lines, um, last season in the, in the league, and that was good, obviously. So now it's just about trying to, trying to, I guess, work it out. So he's got 19 plus 10 assists in 48 games. So that's pretty good as well, I'd say. So, uh, so we're just going to jump into the first game of the season. We're going to skip past the preseason tour because we're not interested in that one. And uh, we're just going to play a few games. And then we, we will, we will re-evaluate our situation after that has happened. So obviously I'll come back if we get an offer for any reason or anything like that. Or I'll be back for the first game of the season. All right, well, here is that offer that I was talking about. It has finally come in, and it is from Wolves, offering £60,000 a week to join them. Now, I feel like they're going to get promoted up to the Premier League anyway this season. I feel like they're going to be one of the stronger teams in the division, and so that could be one thing. The only issue is, is that do we really want to leave and still be playing championship football, or should we just stay at this Derby County side? Like, that's what I mean. Like, do we want to leave now, or do we just want to stay here and try and help Derby up? Obviously, there is no Mason Mount. There is no Harry Wilson this year because they've both gone back to their respective teams. And like I said, it's a good team. It is a really good team that, uh, that Wolves have got. Patricio in goal for starters. Already a better goalkeeper than we have here. Up front, Joe Mason, Bonatini. I feel like we would play up front as well in that regard anyway. So that's nothing to worry about. Jota. Uh, Moutinho in the midfield as well. They've managed. They've got Pwit, They've got Zlienski, who's 82 rated. Ruben Neves still as well. So I mean, this is what I mean, guys. Like, we could join them because they arguably are going to go straight up with the team that they've got. But I just feel like if we're leaving to join another championship team, is it really worth it to us? Now, we only have like a week to decide on this. And I still want to play some games. So I still want to give you guys a decision. So I'm going to keep going and see what happens. Okay, guys. Well, in terms of the Wolves offer, it is a very, very good offer. And they are a good team. But I'm going to reject it. If we're going to leave to the side, it has to be for someone that is going to be, you know... It has to be someone out of the championship. I just feel like there's no point moving from a championship team to another championship team. If we're going to move out... 
If we're going to leave clubs, we have to leave for a, 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 a side outside the championship. I mean, I hope you guys don't agree with me in that regard. Maybe some of you would have accepted that Wolves offer. But uh, if Wolves are interested, then I have every faith that one of the newly promoted sides to the Premier League might also come in with an offer later on down the line. So that's why I'm going to start playing a couple of games. Maybe we'll have a couple of really good performances that will put us in the shop window. And then someone will come along and say, hey, we want you to come play, pay for us, basically. Last year, I've just met Lost Memphis Depay. So maybe Leon, because of course he's playing at Leon. Maybe they'll come in and say they want us to join them. Um, we'll see what's going to happen, like I mentioned. We'll jump into the first game, put ourselves in the shot window, and then obviously reevaluate our situation then. All right then. So we're going to face off against Cardiff in game number one today that we will be playing. Cardiff obviously just coming down from the Premier League, so this is going to be a tough test to see if we can get ourselves into a good position. Like I mentioned, it's all about putting ourselves in the shot window. We can have a good performance here, especially at home against them. We might just have some people looking at us. So like I mentioned as well, there is no Harry Wilson. There is no Mason Mount, which means Holmes takes the spot in behind us as that cam. And you're on the right as well. Thorne and Huddleston in the two midfield areas. Let's jump into game. See what's going to happen. Oh, I forgot to change my number. Oh, we have a new number this year and I forgot to change it. That's my bad. I will change it after this game. We are changing from number 26 to number 14 for this upcoming season. Obviously, those of you who have been on the channel for a while will know the reason for that. And that is that A, Martin Waghorn has the number nine. And B, obviously, I'm a fan of uh, Thierry Henry. So that number 14 holds a special place in my heart. But let's jump into game now. Score a couple of goals. Get ourselves in the shot window. And get an offer. Serious lack of support and service coming our way. We're 38 minutes into this first half. And I haven't even registered a shot. And it's not because I can't do it. It's because of the fact I'm not getting the opportunity to. Like, every time we get the ball, it's either I'm dropping deep to receive it or the last pass that I need to be able to send me through or, or put a cross onto the top of my head is a poor delivery. Again, little one to Lawrence. Send it back down the line. Needs a good cross. Don't turn back. That one goes towards Anya, who's won it, and it's on target, and it's a save. Smithies holds onto it as well. First real chance for Derby, that. There are so many misplaced passes. Got on the left. First time to strike it. Oh, and it's in the back of the net. That is what we needed. That's the first chance of the game that we've got. And what a strike it is as well. That is what I mean, guys. Give us the opportunity. We'll put it in the back of the net. A little celebration as well. Trademark. Huddleston comes over to say, well done, mate. We're happy with that one indeed. And that is the first goal of today's episode. Like I said to you, give us a chance on the edge of the area. That's our first shot in the entire game. And it was largely worked by ourselves. Touch inside. Knock it out the feet. There it is with the right boot. And then the curler past the sliding defender. He's unlucky, actually, because I tell you what, the, the reason that's gone in is because of the quality of the strike. He did everything he needed to do there, the defender, apart from maybe allowing me to cut it onto the left foot. If you're defending against us, you need to know that I want to get it on that left foot. And that's exactly what we're able to do. And we've scored the opening goal here at Pride Park. It is Derby 1, Cardiff 0. Newly relegated Cardiff as well, may I add. So this could be a big win if we were able to hold on to this. Oh, run through the middle. That's great. We're in again. Straight after we were in first time. It's saved by Smithies. It's Anya on the rebound. It's put over the top of the crossbar. Very nearly Derby 2, Cardiff 0. And it was a matter of minutes that was separating the two there. Oh, lovely stuff. Lawrence has gone. Little one, two. That's a poor pass back, but we've been able to make something of it. And we've gone down, but the referee plays advantage. We're in behind, and it's going to be 2 0 Derby. Straight after we got our first one, we've got our second. Talk about putting yourself in the shop window. Well, I said we weren't doing it after the first half, but we certainly are in the second. There is an argument there for the free kick. We stayed in our feet, just drove through. You had a choice to make the defender again. Go to the cutback or try and close us down. Caught in two minds. We picked our spot. And again, he's running across the ball, and that maybe is what puts Alex Smithies off. But we don't care because it's Derby 2, Cardiff 0. It's going to be three points, but I'm more bothered about the performance we're having. Two goals already, considering the fact that it took us how long to get our first of the season last year? We're already on two now. Little one out wide as we keep in hold of the ball. Lawrence cuts it back. Why are you going backwards, Lawrence? I don't actually know. Put that cross in. There we go. Free header. How have I missed that? How have I actually missed that? That should have been the hat-trick. Wait, it's come off. Of... Wait, it's going to be a corner. Um... Fair enough. Thought I missed that. Turns out it's actually a corner. So he's in. It's 3-0. 
We're not going to get the assist credit for it because that was an actual shot from the header rather than a cross in and a flick on towards the middle. I actually meant to put that header on target. We, I don't even know if we touched it actually, but it's in the back of the net. It's going to be Ledley who's claiming it because it is his goal. It doesn't actually touch on the way through. There is the delivery. No, it touches the defender and Ledley profits. 3-0 Derby, three points as well. Happy days. Eight more minutes to play of normal time here. And we are 3-0 up and cruising towards this victory. Cardiff, they gave some decent attacks. Actually, here's one from Bobby Reed. Might be 3-1 now. It is 3-1. Bobby Reed cleared through on goal. I don't know what happened defensively. But it is 3-1. No clean sheet. Bobby Reed gets a goal back for Cardiff. It will only be a consolation, I'm assuming, because there is only five minutes left of the game. But what happened to Derby there at the back? It seemed like we just switched off and then he was free to roam through. 3-1 in the end. And there is the full-time whistle then. A 3-1 win here. Means that it is the three points secured and also two for ourselves in terms of the goals today. Like I mentioned earlier, shot window. We've been putting it. Now it's over to the rest of the teams that are looking at us thinking... We might make a move now, so we'll see what's going to happen. In regards to that, I might put a poll on today's video just saying, basically, if an offer does come in, um, do we want to go to there or not? So we've already rejected the Wolves bid. You guys understand why that is. They've actually won their opening day win as well, so they have actually won the game. Like I said, the chances are they're going to go straight back up. But if we are to remain in the championship, I feel like we need to get the job done with uh, Derby County because that's what we started. If we to leave, then we need to leave to, like a team that's not in the same division. I'm going to make that change now. So kit number 14, because that is what we're going to go with. So there is that. I'm also going to change a couple of other things around. Okay, yet to receive another offer yet. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the second game where we're going to face Swansea at Liberty Stadium. Tough test this. We played against them twice last year. We know how that went. Leroy Fur actually has joined the club as well. So he's come over to, uh, to Derby County. So maybe this thing will change. So we're under a new number today. Wearing gloves as well. Same boots, I feel like. Scoring the brace in the earlier episode game earlier on has helped us with the boots. I'm going to leave them as they are. Maybe that'll be a good look charm. But without further ado, second game coming up. Hoping for a same result. I mean, it's like I said to you guys. I'll leave the poll up there because it may be a case of you guys see how we've performed in today's episode with this Derby side and feel that you're confident we're going to go up. And therefore, you feel that we should uh, remain a Derby County player. Obviously, the decision will always be yours. And we'll, uh, we'll do everything as it takes. But here is the Liberty Stadium then. Swansea versus Derby. Second game coming up. See what happens. I mean, well, <laughs> Swansea won Derby nil. <laughs> I used scored already. And I didn't even see how that one went in. I just saw the ball on the edge of our area. And then all of a sudden it was in the back of the net. Like, we didn't even do anything. It's, it's, as you can see right here, look at the time and space he's got. Just picks out Ayu, touch, bang. Very, very similar to the goal that we scored to open up the scoring against Cardiff. So you have to give him credit in that regard. But it does go through the legs of Curtis Davis. Should do better with it. The keeper can't do anything after that. It's just a good finish from Andre Ayu in all honesty. And Swansea's first real chance of the game. They've taken it. We've got to do the same up the other end. Holmes wins the header. It's under my control here. Lawrence is the only man I've got up with me and I've used him as well. Lawrence in towards the area, dinks it back in towards me, brought it down, tried to shoot it, and it's going to bounce all the way through for the keeper. I mean, I tell you what, the pick out back from Lawrence was very, very good. Wasn't expecting that ball to come straight back towards me. So when it did, it's caught a bit unawares. Maybe could have done better with my, uh, my shot as I get it. Chance here again, and again it's blocked by Swansea. They clearly saw us against Cardiff because they won't let me have any time whatsoever on the edge of the area to be able to pick my spot. And both shots now have been blocked. Oh, Josef Soon's in. Hit that, mate. It's 1-1 out of absolutely nowhere. I was going to start saying we're into the half-time break. It's poor. It's been shocking here again. Giving the ball away left, right and centre. And then a moment of sheer madness from the Swansea defender. And we're back in the game. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I mean when I say that AI is so... I mean, what's he doing? What is he doing? That's a finish and a half from Josef Soon, though. Right where you want it. Straight, pretty much power, arrowed into the back of the net. Could argue the keeper should be doing better with it. But I tell you what, we have to take it when we get our luck like that. We're back in the game at 1-1. We don't deserve to be. We've not been brilliant in this first half. We weren't good against Cardiff, though. 
So to go in at the break at uh, all even, feel pretty good about that. Having said that, I don't want to concede straight away here as here comes Jordan Ayew now. And uh, Wisdom clears up the danger. Half-time whistle goes. It is Swansea 1, Derby 1. And it's come from nowhere, is that equaliser? I think Leroy Fur has just come on as uh, you saw that. What was I just saying about misplaced passes? Well, they're back in front. Swansea 2, Derby 1. Exactly what I was talking about. Oh, my God. There's not, there's not, not you can do. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Look at this. Tom Lawrence backwards, straight to Wilfred Body. He lays it off. Defensively, horror show again. I think it's Jordan Ayew this time. It is who's put them in front for the second time. Swansea 2, Derby 1, Ayew brother strike. I mean, all the goals today have been a joke. What a save. What a save. Could have been Swansea 3, Derby 1 at the moment. And uh, still not happy with the way this game's going. Not even because we're losing it, just the way we've lost this. A misplaced pass from Lauren straight to them. I mean, we can't complain because Josef Soon's equaliser was the same thing. Derby put another cross in. Wisdom heads out. I'm going to get underneath. I want to bring this under control. I don't want to try and head this straight out. But I need runners. We have literally minutes to go. Why are we committing men forward? We're 2-1 down with minutes to play. And then we're misplacing pass after pass again. Come on. Stop kicking it around here. Look at this. I had to ask for that because they were just going to kick it around the two of them. It's a joke. We're 2-1 down in the last minute of the game. And we just lost that. We shouldn't have lost it at all. How many games have we got until the end of this window? I mean, we've got a lot. So there's no worries at all in my mind about the fact that we've still got time for us to leave the club anyway. Which I shouldn't really be thinking about. But even so... You know, we need to also think about this now. I mean, we're worth 38 million. So if Wolves can afford us, I'd like to think that there's a few lower tier Premier League sides that can. So we're going to keep skipping through the days here. I'm not going to play this Carabao Cup first round against Forest, And we're going to hopefully get another offer. Okay, then. Up next is Sheffield Wednesday at Pride Park. We're just going to keep playing the games until I decide that that's it for the episode. And obviously, if we get an offer in between that, if an offer does come in after this game, let's say, I will end the episode off and give you guys a decision. Provided it's not a championship team. Although, having said that, I was feeling pretty confident before. And now, not sure. So, see what's going to happen in this game as well. Hopefully, it won't be a 2-1 defeat like the last one was. And hopefully, we can actually string together some passes and not just kick the ball straight away towards our opponent to give them a free goal. So, we'll see. Obviously, should be a little bit easier. We are at home. So, I'm hoping that home advantage will help us. Oh, lovely ball from Wisdom, and we're down the right. I need some runner in the box, though, to help me out. We've got into a really good area. Chance to lay it across. Oh, I've messed that completely up. What an absolute mug. I'm so angry with myself. How have I messed that so badly up? That's a big chance, that. That's not even a half chance. What am I doing? Sort it out, man. That's a joke from me. Finish that, Lawrence. Unlucky. I've got... What am I doing? Ball fired into my feet. I managed to get away from our defender as well. Got to shoot. I haven't had a got a choice. There was not really a clear-cut pass in the middle, whereas I should have had one previously, and that's again straight at Westwood. I'm, I'm messing up today. I don't know what's wrong with me in this particular game. I had a shot already, which I've hit straight at Westwood. Then I had that pass that I should have been able to play through. Pretty simple pass by all accounts. And that shot there again straight at the goalkeeper. Holmes, out wide towards Josef Soon. He's offside, I think, this guy. He is offside. It's Thorn. He wandered into... Actually, he's onside. He just put it massively wide. I honestly thought he was going to get called offside. Maybe that's why he shot. Anyways... We've had chances here, and two of them have fallen to me. Missed them both. I mean, why, why is George Boyd just free in our box? Like, look at this. Walks through, and he's not going to misplace the pass, is he? And that's Sheffield Wednesday in front. We seriously need to leave. We need to leave. Like, I'm sorry, but that's horrific defending. Walks through there. Look at this. He's going no man's land. Sheffield Wednesday 1, Derby 0. I'm a horrific, horrific player today. I apologise, guys. We're losing this because I haven't set up my teammate. That was a simple pass I should have been able to play. And I've also missed chances. I have to get one back for my team. Yes! I knew that ball was coming. I knew it. And we're in behind. We have to finish this, though. We have to finish it. And finish it, we have! Derby 1, Sheffield Wednesday 1. I said I needed to get my team back on level terms. And we have... Somewhat redeemed for the mistake we made earlier in terms of the pass that we should have played. That is a great ball. You saw me making the run. 
Watch this back. I made the run. I knew full well that I had the space. I just needed that pass to work. It did work. And then we took our time with a finish. Westwood eventually coming out to try and stop us. Sized him up, though. Put it in the corner. And we got ourselves back on level terms. Shouldn't be even 1-1. It should be 1-0, 2-0 to us now. But I messed up earlier on. And Gary Hooper took his chance. So... Fair enough to him. But that's our third goal in as many games here as the halftime whistle goes. There's ever a time I'm trying to get myself, you know, shipped off to another team. We've got three and three here. So, I mean, if you're looking, make an offer. Oh, that is brilliant. And we're in again. Chance again. This would Westwood's going to come out. Westwood. We hasn't actually come out too far, but we've taken a 2-1 lead here. Oops. What did I just do? That was so weird. Did you guys see that? It was like he just cut out the... Did I press the button for that? Wait, I, I think I know the... I, there is something this year, apparently, that lets you skip replays. Um, so I guess we'll take a look at the replay through this way. Obviously, ball comes through, but look at this little passing move here, actually. Little one-twos all across the board. Holmes plays us in. Again, sizing up the goalkeeper. And I'm going to pause it here as we go behind us to take a look at this one. It was not a time finish. I just hit it first time, pretty much. And have a look at this for a finish. Right in that corner. Bang. Westwood no chance. We're 2-1 in front from 1-0 down. I have no idea why I skipped the celebration. I think it was because I clicked, uh, was it R2, L2, something like that. It skips it this year or something. But I apologise for that. I didn't mean to do it. Um, regardless, we're back in front. And we have now got four goals in our last three games. Oh, lovely play. I'm in for the hat-trick here. I'm going to shoot. Of course I'm going to shoot. No chance I'm going to pass that. I mean, I put it wide, so should have passed it in the end. We're on a hat-trick. I'm looking for that hat-trick. I don't want to see... In fact, I've just been saying about the fact we need a third goal. So maybe I should be passing the ball. That's a great-headed one as well. Forestieri. Play that up to me. There we go. There's a pass on as well. There we go. That is good stuff. And this should be a third goal if we can pick our correct passes. He's gone backwards. Fur. Backwards towards him. How, how have we completely, utterly messed that up? That should have been three, without a doubt. What have we done there? Literally minutes to go here. Still 2-1 in front. Please hold on to these three points. Ball put in. Clear it away. That's good, Lawrence. Play me. There we go. I just want to get the ball. Oh, should have got it under control. Having said that, considering that they are trying to get themselves back in this game, Sheffield Wednesday have not committed a lot of men forward. There were still four defenders back defending there. And there is the full-time whistle. 2-1 win for Derby. We got both for the goals after having a pretty horrific showing in the earlier stages of that first half. But I'll take that with both hands. We also got man of the match as well. That climbs us into the top six on six points. Do you know what I'm going to do? I am going to leave you guys that poll, like I said, to just basically gauge your opinion. With how things have started here, obviously with this Derby team, two wins and a defeat. What are you guys thinking? Should we leave them if we get the opportunity to do so? Should we stay if we get the opportunity that we don't get to leave? Obviously, QPR are up next. I'm probably going to skip this. I'm probably going to skip this now. There has to be a new Next Generation 2019 come out. I want to see if we're in that. Let's have a look. See who's going to be in this. We are not. It's, uh, it's a lot of young 18-year-olds. We're still waiting to see. Obviously, club. We're still transfer listed. There's no... News as of yet of a, of a deal or anything in place. Four goals in three games currently is what we're sat on. We've got QPR here and then a really difficult game against Brighton. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. And then I'm going to give you guys that poll at the top right for you to give me, guys, what you're thinking. Even if we get an offer in, should we remain at QPR? Or if we are lucky to have to actually get an offer that's out of the championship, do we accept it? Do we leave? I'll leave that poll there. And then I'm going to record another episode, obviously playing these three games to come against QPR, Brighton and Leeds. And that puts us into deadline day. If we still haven't had an offer about that then, we're going to have to rethink the situation. But for now, guys, I'm going to end the episode off there with the first three games we've played. We are currently sat 10th with a game in hand. We've scored four in our first three as well in the championship this year. If we do remain in the championship, I don't think I'll do any of the training because we're already 82 rated. So ridiculous overall for the championship. We are currently second behind Oliveira in goals, who's got five in four. We've got four in three. So, I mean, he's having a great start to his campaign. 
Without further ado, that is how we're going to end today's episode off, guys. I'm going to show you a quick squad report so you guys can see who's joined here at Derby and who's left. Obviously, do with it what you will. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy it, a like would be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you all for your continued support as well. I did actually have a game earlier on with my, you know, the club I'm coaching outside as well of YouTube, and we won, so that was happy days. So I'm going to rest my voice as well because I'm beginning to feel a little bit hoarse so far from all the talking from earlier on. But uh, as we're coming towards the end of the squad report, obviously some really good players here still. Valued at 38 million is ridiculous for a championship team. It really is. But until next time, guys, if you're new around here and like what you see, the subscribe button is down below. Click the notification bell alongside it to never miss an upload. And I'll catch you all again with another episode, probably either tomorrow or the day after. See you all then. Adios.